Welcome back. Hope you had a wonderful Thursday. Great day sunshine. Again, we actually broke a couple records out there. We'll get to that in just one minute. Do want to touch on this first alert weather day. The expectations. First of all, timing got Friday afternoon through Saturday morning watching out in particular for slick roads. And again, here's what we know at this point again, the timing of that system later on than Friday and then into Saturday morning. Now a difference between this weather system than we saw last week at this time less wind than the system last week. So the blowing snow, the poor visibility, and we may have some winds at times, but certainly not what we had again last week. So not a concern there. This is not a huge storm either. We're not talking about a lot of snow. In fact, snow will be relatively minimal in most areas. It's about the slick roads, the potential for some icy travel out there tomorrow night into early Saturday morning. Now, while there are some uncertainties still, models are definitely coming to better agreement. It looks like this system is going to impact more southern areas. I think Grand Forks area south. Initially, it looked like it would include some of those northern areas. Right now, that does not appear to be the case. Uh, again, type of precipitation rain with snow mixed in likely before changing to all snow as the system exits the region. And because of our temperatures, they're going to remain on the mild side. A lot of the snow that we see fall is not going to accumulate again. We'll have a few areas where that's going to happen, but by and large, not a big snow maker. So here's what we've got for you. Take a look at our first alert forecast. First of all, tomorrow morning, seeing a little bit of rain in areas like Detroit Lakes, Fergus Falls, down through Sisseton. We could then see a little bit of mixed pre precipitation. Grand Forks and areas south, of course, impact there along I-29 and then out toward Finley. Could see a little bit of a icy spots there as well as you head out tomorrow morning. Now, tomorrow afternoon, this is when the system gets a little bit stronger, a little more robust here. As you can see, some of that snow, some of that ice kind of starting to pick up a little bit there. You notice this is 2 a.m. Saturday morning and we're getting some snowfall again because of the temperatures. You notice it's 34 in Fargo. We're not expecting a lot of accumulation of this as mentioned, but those temperatures around freezing certainly could see issues on those roadways. So if you're planning on being out later tomorrow and early Saturday morning, just know that could be a problem. Snowfall potential could see one to three inches in these areas shaded in darker blue. I'll be honest with you. I think we're going to be in the low side of that Fargo, maybe a half inch of snow. I don't think any more than that. The system right now, it's well off to our south. Now let's take a look at our high temperatures today. 49, that's an all-time new record in Fargo. How about some mid-50s? Fergus Falls. Uh, we've got Elbow Lake, Wapaton, Sisseton as well. I took this shot just because we don't get a lot of good sunshine, sunset shots this time of evening. So this came about 445 this afternoon. Current conditions right now, 46 Fargo, south wind at 16. Uh, we've got con conditions, I should say, in Grand Forks. We're looking at 37 degrees with a south wind at 17 miles per hour. Uh, forecast for you as we look at our lows tomorrow morning. A lot of 30s out there. Highs tomorrow afternoon. Going to stay in the 30s, but it's upper 30s to low 40s. Here's that 11 day forecast. Again, kind of messy tomorrow night, early Saturday morning. Then the system clears out. By Sunday, we're back to mostly sunny. Breezy, 35. Monday, 33. Tuesday, 40. And if you can hang for one more second on this graphic, Christmas Eve day and Christmas day. Potential is there for snow. So we went ahead and threw it on there for you. It's obviously it's 10, 11 days out. It is not a definitive, but we are watching a system. Looks like it could hit the area about that time. So wanted to put in there, especially for those who want snow, Christmas Eve, Christmas. At least you've got that opportunity. And we're at the point now where Christmas Eve and Christmas are on the extended <laughs> forecast. Right. We're getting close. It's coming quick. It yeah. is coming quick. <laughs> Thanks, Russ. Still ahead on Valley News Live at 6, a new warning for consumers about high dose THC products, illegally high. We have the details and that warning from Minnesota officials in just two minutes.